you might have observed when uh, there is some steel tank or some tank of a metal which is normally filled with water after some time you may observe that uh, there is a corrosion taking place and the maximum corrosion which takes place is just below the line beneath the level of water meniscus that means if the water is filled till here then just below that like you have seen uh, you can see these poles here or you can see the ship hull here so the water level creates something due to which the corrosion occurs just beneath the level of water meniscus and that's what is water line corrosion so hi i am neha and today i am going to tell you what is basically water line corrosion now obviously it's a corrosion that means here also your metal is going to get affected it's going to react with the environment and is going to convert into a product which obviously you do not welcome and that's why you call it as a corrosion it's going to affect the metal in a negative manner and it has to do something with water line that's why this very specific type of corrosion is known as water line corrosion what happens in such cases where the same metal has access to different oxygen level the metal is same but the oxygen level excess is different at some places they have high concentration of oxygen and in some cases they face low concentration of oxygen and what are those places those are the places which are separated by the water boundary so if the water is filled in a particular container the metal which is just above the water can have a very good access to oxygen while just below that has comparatively suddenly it is deficient in oxygen and when there is sudden uh, change in the oxidation uh, pattern or sudden change in the excess of oxygen that becomes a cell so this type of corrosion is occurred by differential erosion by presence of water line and that's how you uh, call it as a formation of a concentration cell because the cell is developed there is an anodic area there is an cathodic area at the same time there is electrolyte which is water and there is difference in the concentration so that is similar to concentration cell corrosion i hope you remember in the last video previous video i explained what is concentration cell corrosion and what are its peculiar types so water line corrosion is basically one of the specific case of concentration cell corrosion let us see it in detail let's say again you have a water tank which is like filled with water it is made up of iron now just uh, like that i told you that the same iron has a good access to oxygen and a poor access to oxygen just beneath the level of water so what happens is since uh, you have highly oxygenated part here it becomes cathodic part and since it is poor oxygenated part it becomes anodic now we all know when uh, there is a anode obviously corrosion occurs at anode so oxidation reaction will occur iron loses electron releases the electron that electron flows through the electrolyte since water act as a electrolyte here and then the water reacts with it basically oxygen and that h plus takes up that electron and that is how the overall reaction takes place overall iron gets hydrolyzed iron forms a hydroxide so one part is anodic which is a poor oxygenated part other part is cathodic which is highly oxygenated part i uh, expect that you can learn this reaction very well because this reaction is quite common uh, to that of wet corrosion also we have seen in the earlier videos uh, and if you have not yet seen i'll put it in the card uh, or the description you may see again so water line corrosion is basically corrosion which occurs i guess you remember now just below the water line and why because uh, due to the difference in the oxygen pattern now uh, can you just repeat uh, is seeing to these cases are you able to understand these are water line corrosions right you can you know identify the water line right in all of the pictures you can identify the water line and just below the water line if you see if you decrease down the level of water you will be able to see that this area becomes anodic can you just revise one more time which one becomes anode can you tell me poor oxygenated part or a rich oxygenated part uh you may write it in the comments as well but i hope you have uh, got it uh, done it is poor oxygenated if it is poor oxygenated then it has to 
corrode like this because it does not have oxygen right so you, this is a trick to remember if it is a rich oxygen obviously the reaction has to be with oxygen and if it is poor oxygen the reaction has to be oxidation and that means anode is the area which is getting corroded so likewise you can remember which one is anode and which one is cathode and i hope now looking to these uh, pictures in uh, future you will be able to understand that this type of corrosion is definitely a water uh, line corrosion and uh, if not or if yes please do write it in the comment that's all for today and please hit subscribe for more such videos thank you so much